Hey, welcome to Poll to Go. Hey guys, <laughs> we're back. So this week, today actually, we are going to launch our very first non-poll routine. Wait, we do routines without polls? Yeah, we do. Sometimes News to me. <laughs> <laughs> for those who want a little variety, or those who don't have their poll yet, oh, or okay. for you know people who might be a little nervous about getting on the poll, um, this act, this first routine has a lot of moves that we'll use in poll routines, like on the floor, or you know things that you can substitute a chair for instead of a pole, things like that. So got it. That's cool. Um, but we're gonna, <laughs> such a good ball. Um, we are going to, uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about chairs because um, not all of our non pole routines are gonna involve chairs. Some of them will just be dance, which is fun. Mm -hmm. um, but we like chairs because it kind of gives you an, a chance to play with the burlesque style, which obviously uh, can translate to pole work. So um, that's why we're sitting on these amazingly comfortable chairs yes. and not on our super fluffy couch, which just, yeah. Why be comfortable? <laughs> so if you start playing with the, with the routine that we do, and we are using chairs, you're going to definitely want um, a chair without wheels. Yes. And a hard chair. You don't want one with a cushion on it because you will be manipulating your body weight on the chair, and that would... You don't want to fall off by accident or have it roll away or yeah anything and like that. You want a chair that's got some that's sturdy that yes. can hold your weight for yeah, sure, definitely. and that can hold you like standing on it and doing moves and on it, playing around. And you don't want to use like some antique that's been handed down in your family for years and years and years to go because you know every once in a while the chairs do tip over, mm -hmm. or um, then you might do a move where you push forward with the chair and you don't want to like whoopsie there goes that. Yeah. Louis the Fourteenth, <laughs> precious heirloom. But and uh, no arms. Yeah, the arms on the chair definitely would be a hindrance at this point. There are some like sometimes in your life when you might want to play with the chair that has arms, but for for the purpose of the choreography we're going to be doing, we're we're going to avoid armchairs. Yes. And also sometimes we'll be kind of using the back, like like throwing your legs around uh, over the back. So. Try to find something that's got a lower back if you can. If not, then Tamison actually has some. Yeah, I have short belt. legs, so I <laughs> will show you guys in a little bit just an awesome way to uh, to cheat that. Where we actually film that, so we're gonna throw that clip. Yeah, in. we're gonna throw it in because it's better than if I stand up now and <laughs> you guys can't see anything. Yeah. But, uh, so um, that's coming in a minute. Hold tight. And what else can we t say about the chair? Oh, also, um, you can get you can get relatively inexpensive chairs at like, I think we got this one at IKEA. It was black. I wanted a black chair because mm -hmm. I thought it would look good. Yeah. Um, but it was very light. Yeah. And so, so Arlo is actually very crafty, and she weighted down her own chair. Yeah, because you want it. You you don't want it to be too light because then it it moves too much <laughs> as you're dancing. You don't want your chair, you know, flying against the wall. You don't want a dance partner that moves. <laughs> So, um, so I will show you also a clip of how I weighted this chair down. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> I'm so making popcorn. Okay. You want to watch it now? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So this is the chair that I've been using for my burlesque routines. I saw it. I loved it. It was perfect. It was black, you know, no arms, all of that. But the one problem with the chair was that it was too light. So anytime I would try to dance on it, it would slide around It'd tip. Not the best thing to do to have when you're working on a burlesque chair. So what we did was went to a um, Anna Watt lumber store, which is like a Home Depot, and we got found a couple of really heavy pieces of wood. And we brought the seat in and had them cut the pieces of wood so that they would fit underneath here. Then we took some Gorilla Glue and just glued them on. And that's it. It adds a lot of weight to the seat of the chair. You want the weight in the seat, not in the back, because if it's in the back, it'll tip. So it added some weight to the seat of the chair, and now I can dance around on it without worrying about falling over. Okay. That was awesome, right? <laughs> I swear, I never knew that, I actually would never have thought of that. When she told me she was going to weight the chair down after she bought it, I was like imagining this um, horrible metal weight tied to the bottom of the chair and just thinking of all the ways that could just very much so go wrong. So I'm glad to see that it's not that way at all. It's actually, it's actually quite in ingenuitive. I like it. Ingenuitive. It's a like good word. word. Yes. I threw that one, just, I just pulled that right out of my ears. Watch. 
Yeah. Goes right back in. <laughs> so since we're cutting to clips, yeah. so let's cut to your clip. Oh, this on, one's so exciting. On variations. How on did passage. she? If you're too short. <laughs> All right, so for all you short leg people like me out there who want to play on a chair that maybe perhaps the back is a little bit higher than would be comfortable playing on, I'm going to show you a quick treat. treat. It's a quick cheat. Um, so in the choreography, if the flag comes over the chair like this, this for me is incredibly uncomfortable and I, I don't feel like I have my balance at all. So what I do, instead of taking it over the chair, I take it close to the base of the chair. I don't know if you can see this, I'm gonna lift my leg. But my thigh is right there at the corner. That way I get the illusion and I get the length and I get the lines as if I went over, but I didn't go over. Ooh, bonus. And then from here, anything else that would happen, you can definitely go into. So if it was uh, to come all the way up and over, you would just place your foot in the center, and then you could bring this leg up here. Or if you're feeling very adventuresome, you could do, uh, or if it's the other leg, actually, I guess, you could do here and then bring the leg up and over this way. All right, just make sure you play with your chair. Make sure it's balanced before you hop around on it all that way. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, um, my this chair is a little bit high for me, too. Um, so I wish I had seen that before I filmed today's routine, because then oh, I would have cheated it. You should ask me first. <laughs> yeah, if you'll notice, uh, you may notice in, uh, in the routine, if you go to watch alone, um, as I swing my leg over the chair, the chair kind of lifts up a little bit because the back's a little tall. <laughs> yeah, so it's fun. Um, Anything else that we can say about chairs? Just be, be mindful when you get up on a chair, especially if it's your first time playing on furniture. I highly recommend it. It's very fun. It'll take you into a whole different place of feeling powerful and competent and amazing. However, you don't want to get up there and just be like, woo! I mean, you know. Yeah. Really, chairs can tip. Yep. Yeah, take your time and really, like, make sure you're you're in the center of the chair and you're balanced and things feel comfortable and you know if if ever you're doing a routine and it doesn't feel comfortable the you know the chair doesn't feel comfortable you can always substitute stuff on the floor for what we do on a chair you don't ever have to get on a chair if that's just not your cup of tea and it, and you can also just modify the moves mm -hmm. and you know as Tamison showed us a couple of modifications you can modify the moves like um, if you're arching over the chair but you're not quite comfortable don't arch just toss your head <laughs> um, and uh, and all, and yeah, really make sure as you try moves for the first time on the chair make sure you've got your balance um, we don't want anyone toppling their chair and landing on their head or anything no. like that that would be bad no and and, and just, just know that chair spills happen um, I like to tell people when I teach classes when we use chairs and someone's chair falls over, especially when we get to routines where we actually use the chair with the pole and you're going to go up onto the pole and the chair tips over. Um, it's, it's not at all anything about you. It's just showing the chair who's boss. So, you know, if your chair does happen to tip, don't think, oh, I can never do this because now my chair's tipped. Just pick it back up and be like, that's right, chair. I'm in charge. <laughs> you're listening to me. So, mm. Yes. And just go with it and just continue if you feel like you Yeah, chairs do tip. Yeah. Um, we just want you to make sure that they don't tip in a bad way to hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm all about safety. I'm all about having fun. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah, yeah. two and chairs, yeah. guys. Yeah, and play, just, play, just play with your chair a little bit before you start working on the routines. Just get, get used to the feel of it. Sit on it. Stand on it. You know, Definitely stand on it, it before you try dancing with it as your partner because it, it does have a certain weight that it's going to go. Like oh, it's going to rock a little bit because furniture is not perfect. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, unless you bought your chair at like Ethan Allen or someplace like that. Then mm -hmm. your furniture should be perfect for the amount of money you spent. In which case <laughs> if you stand on it and it's wobbly, you should take it back. <laughs> um, but you know, if we're just, I mean like an Ikea chair or you know, the perfect size chair that you found at a, at a garage sale, you know. Get up on it before you put the music on and before you learn the choreography and just see, okay, if maybe it's a little bit rocky on one side and not as rocky on the other. And if you have to stand a little off center, you know, get to know your chair. It's your partner. Yes. All right. Have I fun. I think that's it for today. Have a great week and we'll see you next time.